Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another group build party. Well today actually I was going to do some more painting and whatnot on the 77 Ford van and do that as a group build video. Unfortunately I have a slight problem. Currently the weather out here in Alberta is minus 35 degrees Celsius which is equal to minus 31 Fahrenheit. So this is a temperature, of course, which no way I can actually paint out here without either freezing to death or freezing the paint or something like that. So you see, it would be very difficult to actually try to paint something. So instead of continuing with the group build for a little while, I will do these great unboxing videos. So enjoy! Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Mechanics. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online. Today I've got a really cool model kit for you. It is the AMT Weekend Wrench and Set. This is all garage tools and mechanic stuff. It's a really, really cool model kit. And if you want to get one, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show you where you can find it. So now without further ado, let's go down to our bench and unbox the Weekend Wrench and Set. What better thing to do on the weekend than to actually work on a car? And here we have AMT's Weekend Wrench and Set in 125th scale. Garage scene dioramas are starting to become really popular among model builders. This kit includes welding set, 10 tools, 2 saw horses, 2 tool chests with opening drawers, shelves, mechanics creeper, a miniature model, and a mechanic figure with options. Build an exciting 125th scale display. Included are large full scale decals for your shop walls and all the components you see here with the exception of the model car itself. I got this garage set for Christmas and it makes a great gift for someone you like. Now let's just take the lid off this box and see what's inside the model. Well, we do have a nice white parts tree with a bunch of the figures and other bits in there. And then we get another one with our remaining components. Here we have the instruction sheet, which is very nice. And then a almost full bottom sized decal sheet. So we'll take a look at that at the end of this video. Here we have the instructions for our weekend wrench and set. And as you can see, we have a nice photograph, which is taken off of the box top, just to give us sort of an idea on how to lay out all our tools in our garage. Down here we have the important notice, such as before you begin to assemble your model kit, study the instructions carefully. Here we have our symbols as to what we're going to expect inside the instruction sheet. Now, as anyone who has ever moved into an apartment or started their own business knows, the first thing you really need are some shelves. And here we have two outer racks, as well as one, two, three, four, five, five shelves! Ah, ah, ah! Another handy thing to have in our shop is, of course, this welding set. Now, these would be oxygen acetylene tanks. We get the nice tanks with the gauges on top, as well as our hoses and the torch itself. And all this is attached onto this nice dolly. And here we get a bunch of really cool decals for our tanks. Next up, we have our tool chest. And this is really interesting because you build it with the top hinged upward. And here's the top tray which glues down to the sides in this L-shaped piece. You get five drawers in here. They will all slide into these grooves so that you can pull them in and out. So if you have any spare tools, you could always put them in here, and that's from other model kits, of course. Then here we've got the back of the taller tool chest, which sits on this wheel dolly down below. There is a top section, which of course you put the top chest onto. Here it also has these kind of ribs in the side, but there are no pull-out shelves. This radiator looking piece is actually the front of the longer drawers. Then here we get these decals on here, which are the CAT, the Cross Flags AMT, and the AHRA Hot Rod Association. Anything you want on the sides to dress up your tool chest. And down here we have a miniature model that you can build with some little flame decals for the sides, as well as these great sawhorses, and you do get two in this kit. What shop wouldn't be complete without a set of tools? And here we can see we get some nice screwdrivers of different sizes, as well as different size wrenches, a rubber hammer, a ball-peen hammer, a hacksaw, tire iron, 
pliers, and a creeper. And for company, we have this amazing 125th scale figure that comes in the kit. You can build him with either the cowboy hat or the baseball cap. And he has a choice of four different arms, which you could position any way you want, just so that he can help you work on your car. So what would you name this nice gentleman? Let us know down in the comments below. Here we have our first parts tree, and as you can see, this is the top box for our tool kit. Again, very nicely done. You see the handle there, and the handle's off the side, just like the real thing. And if you turn it up this way, these are all our little shelves that go inside our toolbox. And there are some mold marks underneath. You'll have to sandpaper those down flat in order to make them look nice. But overall, it looks pretty cool. There's the sliding uh, rack parts that go inside on the side of that toolbox. So again, very nicely done by AMT. Here we have our lower toolbox as well as our saw horses. And you can see there are some caster wheels on the bottom of the toolbox in order for the mechanic to move it around. Again, very nicely done. There is a bit of flash in here, but not really much of a problem on the actual parts. Again, really cool model kit by AMT. This parts tree is quite a bit smaller, but as you can see, it contains all of our tools. And there have been a lot of model cars that come with tools as well that you could add into this collection. There's our creeper for along the floor for going underneath cars on your back, as well as our little model car in two pieces down here. Again, very cool and very unique. This parts tree contains the components for our oxyacetylene tanks, as well as our little dolly cart here. The only thing missing off of this is a set of chains, which would loop around both of the tanks, just to keep them secure in case the dolly flips forward. Again, you've got your nice oxyacetylene torch right there, as well as your gauges. Very nice indeed, and very simple to put together. And here we have our shelving unit, which again is a nice simple little bit of model kit building. This set, whole set shouldn't really take you too long to build on your own. There are a little bit of marks here which could be cleaned up. I do believe that's part of that mold release agent, so you want to wash this with some soap and water. But overall, this should make a nice job for your little garage scene. And our final component is, of course, our mechanic friend. Have you figured out a name for him? If so, write it in the comments down below. As you can see, we've got a set of legs and a torso, as well as our four different arms, the two different hats, and our head here. And this should all turn out to look pretty nice once you get it done. Should actually fit in with any of your Fujimi mechanics that you may have. Again, very nicely done by AMT. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the great decal revealing. So here we go. There it is. These are all the decals you get in with your garage set. As you can see, you get this great super service sign and a motor oil sign, as well as a couple of moon eyes and the genuine supplies. Oh, tool and genuine supplies. Sorry, the AMT decal, the cat from AMT and my garage rules, as well as gasoline alley, some high voltage signs a whole load of sponsors there's even a model kit box here and then the caution signs on the sawhorses as well as these different bits of oil spill and more caution signs and an exit sign lots of great decals in here to build up your garage and make it look really awesome oh and there's even a clock in there now I was surfing the web and I came across this really cool little miniature layout for a garage scene which could really utilize these weekend wrench and tools. What sort of ideas do you have for building a 125th scale garage set? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this great look at our AMT Weekend Wrench and Set. And remember, if you want to find one of these great model kits, I actually have three. The Weekend Wrenching Set, the Tip Top Shop, and the Get On Up Hoist. And you can find those by following the link up above right to our website. So until next time, everybody, happy model building.